Hi, I'm Claire Spencer and I'm the Secretary of Mosey Neighbourhood Forum. Um, just taken part in a discussion in there with the group Slider Studio, which and they had invited lots of different kind of groups of people, people from community groups, people from local authorities and planners and builders and people like that. And so we were looking at the whole neighbourhood planning process, seeing you know what the barriers were, what the opportunities were, and what the current coverage of, of it was like with the web tools that we had available and web tools that we they and we could create. And so it was really interesting, the, I think the, the most interesting part was the examination element where it was clear that the kind of supply of web tools for examination was actually fairly lacking. And so as a neighbourhood group, when you're looking to see what's actually possible, what's actually legal and practicable, you're actually a bit on your own at the moment. And so it'll be really interesting to see whether Slider Studio managed to get anything from that. So in terms of some of the tools that we've talked about today, I mean, you mentioned examination, but some of the other parts of the process. Is there anything that you think stands out or is the most important for you? Um, I think, I mean, a good neighbourhood plan will be predicated on the expertise you manage to tap into. And I think anything that enables you to reach all the people, I mean, like people are the experts in where they live. And so the number one most important thing for me in assembling a neighbourhood plan would be tapping into that local expertise and managing to turn that into something which could be used as a statutory document. So anything that facilitates that engagement, whether that's existing social media tools or those pulled together with a website or whatever, anything that enables that I think is very important.